It's been a long season and of course one game to go. It goes without saying that you want to win this one, the JD Welsh Cup final. Yeah, without a doubt, you know, we've been here a lot of times before and, and I'll say exactly the same thing, it's the biggest game of the season because it's the next one. So yeah, you know, it's really important to, to do as best we can to win the league um, as early as we can, uh, but we've done fantastic and that have been some fantastic performances. We we um, topped it off with a great performance against Connor Skate the weekend, a real comfortable win, dominate the game from start to finish. I think we'll probably limit them to one opportunity in the whole game. And in, in, in we probably could have, could have scored three or four more, if not for Firthy in goal. So, which you know, he's been fantastic all season. So yeah, it's um, it's really important. It's really important to finish the season on the high in the Welsh Cup. It's a real, you know, it's a real historic and a proud cup that we all want to be on the right side of. Come seven, eight o'clock on Sunday night. And we have raised it a few times in press conference interviews that the last time we played Ballatown in the cup final six years ago at Namporth, yeah. it denied you an historic triple travel and the club, yeah. of course. And you've expressed the fact that that still rankles with you slightly. Mm. So how important is it to put this one to bed for you personally? Yeah, very important, very important because, you know, something that happened six years ago to still be carrying around with you then you know, it might just be unhealthy on my behalf, but it's something that I think that keeps me driven, keeps keeps the focus, keeps everyone's feet on the ground, certainly from my point of view, and, and, and also as well, keeps the reality of what can happen in a, in a time that we were absolutely flying, in an era to win, you know, what was that? Seven, eight, eight competitions before that on the bounce for, for three years, and then to get pipped to the post with a, a two one defeat against Bala, and in, in also, you know, it was my last game, my first stint in charge with TNS. So it's it's a personal, it is a personal gripe. You know, I won't make it personal because it's 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 far far bigger than me. It's about the players on the pitch. So that's the important thing. But certainly from my point of view, it's something that I've not let go all this time later. We've played Ballatown four times so far this season. We've won each of those games. We scored 12 in the process. Mm. We've only conceded one. Yeah. The stats look good, but how important will they be come Sunday and that first whistle to get us underway? Yeah, I, th I think they've become irrelevant because as I've just referred to, and I, and I think you know, it'll be almost probably in the team talk for both teams. Because you know, you can, from our point of view, we've been here, I've seen it with my own eyes, I've felt it, I've smelt it, I've, I've tasted it, I've felt the, the, the sadness of the defeat after being on such a great run, so it can happen. And I'd be imagining, you know, Colin in the other dressing room will be saying the roles reversed. That, look, six years ago, TNS were, had won eight trophies in a row, they were flying, they broke a world record that year, won 27 games in a row, and we managed to beat them 2 1. So I'd imagine it'll pay, play a little part in, in both team talks or both build ups. From, from myself and Colin, so so yeah, it'll play, it'll play psychologically. It may play a part, but ultimately, it's you know, it's it's what turns up on the day. And you have expressed reservations and concerns about the venue for the final. Yeah. Have you been able to perhaps turn that around though and use it as a motivation for the players? Yeah, I think we we'll have to look. It, it was it was chosen for whatever reason. Still baffles the life out of me. You know, I was up there yesterday. Walking on the around the edge of the pitch, there's an awful lot of sand on it. Not an awful lot of grass on it. There's been a lot of games played on it, you know. So it's it, it's it's not about it, it. It could be anywhere. It's not that it's it's Nampport. It's irrelevant. It's you know it, it needs to be played at Cardiff City Stadium like it was last year. It saddens me for the players, for the officials, for everyone involved to have such a special historic one of the oldest cups in the UK and the world even I, I believe the Welsh Cup is to be played on a, a stadium that isn't Cardiff City so I want to make sure that's that's clear that it's not Nantheport, it's not Bangor, it's not the people up there, it's not the surroundings it's it just shouldn't be played there, I would have been exactly the same if that had been any of the Welsh Premier League grounds I don't believe a historic cup like that should be played at a, a stadium that you're playing or domestically play on a regular basis but it is what it is and we'll get on with it and you know and it probably makes me as a person even more determined 
you know, that's just the way I am. You know, if you get prodded, I get my hackles up, and you know, you dig in a little bit more, and you want to want to win the game even more than what I did before. And as we look ahead to the game itself, how are the preparations going? Because I know we will be training at mm. Nampoort this week as well. Yeah, the preparations going well. The, the, it's a really, it's it's going to be really, really tough. You know, you, you look at it. We've got everyone fit. You know, I had to leave out the squad on Saturday. Keston Davis, Adam Wilson, Josh Pask. Um, who else was left out of the squad? Uh, Luke Simpson. You know, there's there's players in abundance. Very very good players are being left out of the squad. You know, never mind the starting eleven. So everyone's fit now. And, and everyone's working really hard. You can really tell that there's there's a cup final coming up, you know, and and, it, and it's part and parcel of the job. That's that's why I'm the manager, and, and I've got to, I've got to pick the best team for the day. And there's one thing I will do. I'll pick with 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 a heart and mind and mind and mind. It won't be. It'll be for the right reasons. And some people de- be disappointed. Some people, you know, will not be involved in the squad because there's only five subs as well. There's not the seven subs as is domestically. So yeah, it's it's really hard. That's the hardest bit of the preparation. We know how we're going to play. You know, we know our preparations meticulous. Whether it's the first game of the season, the last game of the season, European competition, cup competition, whatever they may be. You know, we'll do everything in training like we have done for the whole of the season. So everything will be right regarding that. But it is going to be tough when it comes to the comes to the selection. You know, and and, and the lads have been fantastic. You know, I just wish it was fifteen or sixteen to say. As we often ask you, Craig, and particularly so in this particular instance, have you got that starting eleven yet, or are you still mulling over perhaps one or two places? Yeah, I think you know we're probably 95 percent there. You know, like like I speak about it before. You know, we've we've had there'll be a eight day gap between games, so it gives everyone an extra session or two to impress. Or if I'm not too sure about X or Y, then you know the opportunity for someone to change my mind or tilt. The, the balance either way so yeah yeah it's you know 90 percent you you know roughly what you what you're going to do but there's there's you know in that that probably 10 percent of a team it gives you a, a one place or maybe two places at the max up for up for grabs depending on how people train how people do things how people don't do things you know and and, and really as well as we'll get up there on tomorrow and we'll, and we'll see what the surface is like and we'll see you know there's a few little you know things co- going to pick in a team it's not just as simple as you pick your 10 best players out for your players you know there's there's lots of things going on 